Hello, ma'am. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Are you feeling strong today? Yes, I have. Okay, then <laughs> just pick it up. See if you can hold it. Oh God, it's very heavy. It is. Yes. But it's only a log piece of wood. Yeah, but yeah. it has a lot of mass, I guess. From where did this mass come? From where did the tree get this mass? Look at this tree. Just see. Too huge. No? Huge. See, huge. huge. And look at the circumference here. Look at this. Look old. at the trunk. Huh? Yeah. Let's measure it. Oh. Approximately 60. Really? Yes. See how much mass it has acquired. How much weight? How much would it weigh you think? So you saw this log of wood? Yes ma'am. And this, this is part of a tree of course. <laughs> and the tree must have been at one time it must have been a tiny little seed. Every living thing starts with a single cell. Single cell. Yeah, it all starts there. Not every living being because uh, plants can also be made through cuttings and Oh yes, yes. Methods. There are other also. methods of Other living. methods of the also. But uh, a tree, uh, a single small little seed grows into a huge Correct. tree. So from where is it getting this mass or weight? Uh, it absorbs nutrients from the soil. Okay. And we, we provide it with water. Okay. And then it is also taking in some gases maybe from the atmosphere. So maybe and at the same time the multiplication of cell takes place and ah. that's how they grow into this huge thing. Ah, but my question is that from where does the matter in it come? Because matter can neither be created yes. nor destroyed. So it's not that because the cells are multiplying so new matter is being created. No, no, no. There is obviously a transfer of matter from some place. So where is the matter coming so from? Where is that matter? Because look at these huge trees. See, look at the tree. How huge it is. Just see, my goodness. Look at the circumference. Hmm. So from where did this mass come? So it must be from the air because had it been coming from the water and if it had been coming from the soil then you see this huge thing uh -huh. it uh, weighs many tons correct many hundreds of kilograms so if it was coming from the soil there should be that big a hole in but the soil is, but it we, isn't like we that. never see that we never see that so it's not getting from water i guess and neither from the soil must be some water also in it some part but see once it dries out yeah there's no water in it no, it's only oh yes. wood only yeah. wood in the 1600s, Johannes Baptist of Van Helmont nurtured a tree weighing 2.2 kg initially in a pot containing 9 kg of soil. After 5 years, he found that the tree weighed approximately 74 kg more and the soil had lost only 57 grams, proving that the mass from the soil is hardly transferred to the tree. Whereas when it was a seed, this wood was not there. Correct. So it must be from the oh, gases it is taking from the atmosphere. So it is coming from the thin air. From the thin air it has become so huge. Seems so unreal but I guess it yes, is so. Yes, true. That's true. Very true. Okay. Very true. So your guess is better than the guess of many others. Believe me. Believe me, I have asked so many people. But it is coming in from, from thin, thin air. Yes, but I should not say thin air. It is coming in from the thick air. Air which is thick with pollutants. Oh, right. Yes. So, look at the equation of photosynthesis. So, in photosynthesis, six molecules of carbon dioxide react with six molecules of water to give one molecule of glucose and six molecules of oxygen. So, this is how carbon from the atmosphere gets converted into the matter of the tree, which we okay. see as the mass or weight of the tree. So, chlorophyll is the green pigment. Yeah. It, now, what about plants which have pink or white or some other colored leaves. So uh, they have where's the chlorophyll? Just the amount of red pigment I guess is more, more but chlorophyll yes. is still there. Basically this is all carbon left mostly. Okay. There might be some other elements also but majorly this is carbon. Oh yes and also this is why you know when you like this is what converts to coal and coal yes. is nothing but carbon. So what millions of years ago the trees that got buried they have converted into because of high pressure and, and temperature. temperature. Correct. So that converted into coal, which yeah. is carbon, pure carbon based. Pure carbon. Maybe there might be some impurities also. So that is why all the fossil fuels burning. They are all, you know, carbon was locked in it. 
Oh, so you mean burning of, of fossil years. fuel releases carbon back which into was, the atmosphere? Which was locked in it for billions of years. And we certainly don't want it to be released back, right? No, but we can't help it because, help it because, because UK, it's a fuel. UK, UK, you've come here by your car or, huh. you know, your school, Correct. whatever, uh, by burning that fuel. Hmm. How did you, otherwise, what do you do? How, we, how do you come? How do you, yes. yes, so we have Correct. to use them. But at the same time, what we are doing is the balance is getting disturbed. Correct. And that is why there is so much more. So we polluted. must think of something which can lock it simultaneously. So yes, yes. yes. So yes. that only trees know how to do. Correct. You know, only plants and trees know how to do this efficiently. They know. They just. Yeah. It's a biological yeah. process happening all the time. Yes, them, it's, yes. it's a. Like it's this. what you know. What nature is doing. We have not yet been able to replicate it. No such efficient system yet exists correct which can lock it and see when we eat this what is happening is then we are the secondary consumers of carbon yes we are the consuming. plants are the first ones so are we also carbon we are all carbon compounds so all animals all animals are carbon compounds okay. all living beings and then when this had also you know this had deposited and it became converted into sedimentary rocks so we have marble Marble. Marble converted. CaCO3, yes, calcium, calcium carbonate. That's also a compound of carbon. Yes. Everything is carbon. Everything. 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 No, not everything. Most of it. But all Many living things. beings. Oh, yes. All living beings are carbon. Okay. Compounds of carbon. And wood also because it wood was also, yes. at one time at living. One time, now yes. not. So all okay. parts of a plant are carbon. I get it. The basic is carbon. All right. We are also compounds of carbon. And uh, look at this statue, this beautiful marble statue. And marble is calcium carbonate. Yes. So this is also made of carbon. Somehow, yes. Huh? It, it is a carbon compound. Star. So this statue is also carbon. And also I am also carbon. Yeah. And this bird here. And the real bird also. And the real bird also. This bird here is also carbon. And the real bird is also. All animals. All, all plants. Yes. Compounds of carbon. Yes. So this marble is also carbon. Correct. And I am also carbon. <laughs> and this bird that she is holding. Correct. That's also that's carbon. also that's carbon, also carbon like carbon. dogs. So all other sea and water bodies that we have, they are also sinks of carbon. Okay. They also take in carbon. How are these sinks like? What is, where is the carbon in sea life? So they have these small little one cell cellular or a little bit of more cells maybe of creatures called planktons. Yes. So the planktons are plants actually. They are also absorbing carbon dioxide and then they are being eaten by other small animals. And they are being eaten by bigger animals. So this food chain yes. comes into process, play. Correct. And then that is being deposited into all kinds of shell creatures. Which all like the animals this, which, all have the, these, which have these uh, hard structured, structured bodies. Structured, it can be an exoskeleton or an internal skeleton also. If you see the fish. Yeah. That also the endoskeleton is all carbonate. That is like also carbon, carbon, but even the flesh is carbon. Yes. So carbon and is and basically uh, abundant in the sense that many yes. things around yes. us are actually yes. made up of either carbon directly or correct. compounds of carbon. Correct, correct. So okay. you know carbon is being stored. Okay. All the excess because we are breathing out carbon dioxide also. all the time. We are also breathing it out. We are taking it in and then we are breathing it out. We are converting, mind you. We are taking in ox oxygen. more of oxygen. We are breathing in car Correct. whatever carbon dioxide Correct. is in the air. That is also Obviously because air is a mixture. It in. Yes. It's a mixture of gases. So we're breathing it that in also, but we are breathing Release out, more. releasing more carbon than we are taking it in. So we are sources. So we are yes, we are. So but okay. we are we are also sinks of carbon because we are we're consuming the plants. Okay. We are made of it and we are consuming carbon. We are which is and getting deposited in our body. In bodies. my body. In my as body. well as we are releasing it. As well as we are releasing okay. some part, the excess is getting stored. Alright. Whatever the food you are taking, that is all, they are all carbon. Carbon compounds. Mm -hmm. So this is the kind of a cycle. So it's balanced, you mean? Should be balanced. Should be balanced. But it is at present it is not balanced because we are burning more fossil fuels. We are using that in excess. Yes. And that is why. The balance has gone and now we have so much pollution. And a lot of, uh, you see in the summers these days, the yeah, temperature, is temperature is global warming. Higher. That is global warming. We are hitting record highs every year. Yes. Because of greenhouse effects. Because of the greenhouse. One of the drawbacks yes. of this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what is happening is that all the carbon molecules in the all the pollutants, they get heated up. Correct. That's why if you go to the moon where there is no atmosphere, it can be terribly cold. 
it is terribly cold it's not that can be cold it is it either is. it either it becomes too hot yeah. or so this this envelope of atmosphere that we have around the globe around mm-hmm. the which maintains the right temperature it maintains the right temperature but now because of excess of carbon carbon dioxide correct it is heating up more correct so only plants and only trees know mm. how to correct take it out from the atmosphere so we must plant more trees yes and that we is have that been is saying that for yes, I don't that know is how many years that is what is or think of something artificially which can absorb. so we we have not yet been able to no. come out with such efficient machines correct which will take in yes okay so we have this carbon cycle which is the natural cycle it could be you know the tree if the tree is alive for 100 years okay so that carbon is going on getting deposited in it correct so the good sinks of carbon yes they are very good sinks of carbon yes but once it dies it is then again either it mixes up into the soil correct so the soil is also a deposit of carbon because everything dead is getting is into getting it. into it yes okay i get so it so that is also a sink of carbon all right but then it is also getting released back into the back atmosphere it will come back okay yes.